Good evening, everybody. Tonight we're going to make ourselves a nice roast pork. Right over here, fresh roast pork. I don't care if I put a lot of to put a lot of herbs on there. I might put if I had a fresh branch of rosemary. I might put it on there. But salt and pepper is fine. The beautiful piece of meat. Yeah, I'm putting it in the pan here to get some flavors with with the mirepoix. That's that celery carrots and onion and I also have a, a shallot right here I'm gonna put uh, and I like to keep it moist a pan moist so I'm going to put about I don't know quarter of an inch maybe not even let's put it all in a broth now I'm gonna put this on top nice see and we're gonna brown it in the oven at 425. When it's nice and brown, we'll lower the temperature, cook it nice, piano, 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 nice and easy, nice and slow. Okay, so we start like this. Okay, I have the back end over here and we're going to put it in 10 minutes. And then maybe we turn it around for five, and then we lower it. Huh? Right. There's five five one and a half inch chops in there. So that's plenty. If we have anything left over, we're gonna have a great second meal. But that's okay. Let's see what happens. And that's a good thing. We're gonna cook two meals in one in one shot. We got a good second meal. We fix it up a little bit. It'll be beautiful. All right. See you in about ten minutes. In half. Let's see what happens now. Let's see, let's turn it around. Okay, that's not yeah, too bad. It looks like it's brown. It's brown. So what we're going to do now, we have to we're putting it back in. We're going to give it another five minutes. I also raised the temperature from 425 to 475. So now we're going to do it another five minutes on 475. Time to look at the uh, piece of meat again. I believe it's seared enough. The reason we sear it is to close all, to close the outside pores. You close the outside pores and it helps keep moisture in the meat. So that when you're roasting the meat, even when it gets well done, there's still moisture in the meat and the meat's nice and juicy. That's why we, we sear it first. And the better you sear it, the juicier it would be inside. Okay, let's take a look at it. That's it, Pete. I gotta take my glasses off. My glasses are all fogged up. Look how nice and seared this is. See? Now, and then look on this side. By the bone. Okay, you see the meat by the bone? I leave the meat there. Other people take it off. Okay, we're going to lower the, lower the temperature now to roast. Now we finish searing, now we roast. Uh, let's see. So, in this silly thing, I shut it off, put it back on, we'll leave it at 3, I'm going to lower it to 325. Yeah, 330 is good. Okay, the reason we lower it, we want to cook it slow, we want to make love with it very slowly. Okay, in a couple, in a half, and in one hour it should be done. All right, we just took the pork out. Seems like it's done. It's in there for about another 40 minutes. It feels like it's done to me. I like that better. The other way I can check. Put a fork in here. Now the tips of the fork are in the middle. You just leave them there a couple of seconds. Take it out, and it's warmer than my skin. It's actually too hot to my skin. If it was the same same temperature as my skin, it would be 98 degrees, right? So being hot to my skin means it's probably around 140 degrees, which is where we want. It. So now it's got to rest a little bit. So we're going to let it rest a little bit, and we're going to check the check the, the 
Okay, carrots. The carrots can be cooked a little bit more. So you can. The onions can be cooked a little bit more. That's okay. Go put the dish back in there without the meat. Okay, bye bye. Great looking roast. Good job, Chef. Well, that looks great. Cooked to perfection. Great job, Chef.